you know it's really heartbreaking when you spend so much time doing your video creating a content a beautiful content and and you ended up getting two views five views ten views or sometimes you don't even have any views i know how that feels right i know how it feels it's really heartbreaking so that's why i'm here to teach you more on your thumbnail making but it, it attracts people to your content it attracts people to your videos to know what is really happening in this video so when you have a good thumbnail when you create a good thumbnail it attracts more views and potential subscribers remember no matter how good your content is nobody is going to click nobody is going to watch if you don't have a good thumbnail so hi guys if you're just seeing this face for the first time <laughs> welcome welcome my name is adana Mary Jane. so in this video we are going to be talking about thumbnails we are going to be talking about how to make your th your thumbnails better so that in your next video you're going to be attracting much views and much click and more subscribers i will make sure that you have value for your time don't worry check out all of my videos you will know that i always give value for your time all right so if you are a returning subscriber hmm my real g wanna be the real v v v i p thank you so much for always coming back to click on my channel to check out my videos i really appreciate and i don't take this for granted but before we move forward please make on a no vest make on a no vest for me please if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel i beg mabin diko diko please subscribe to my channel i'm begging you <laughs> you know that i like begging a lot so please subscribe to my channel make i feel they happy first of may is my birthday and i want to get to 1000 subscribers before my birthday that's the best birthday gift you can give to me i'm telling you subscribe and watch my video i will be so so excited please subscribe i beg we are not going anywhere if you do not subscribe and brother subscribe Auntie, please subscribe. Mm? Please. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. If you just subscribe, please go down to the comment section and click and write new subscriber so that I will give you an odogu hug. Please, you deserve it. An odogu for subscribing. So the first step to creating a very good thumbnail it's for you to research on the type of content you want to post and the type of thumbnail you want to make by going to your competitors thumbnails to cross check what yours will look like you're going to check the ones that the people are resonating with the ones that are getting more clicks so that you can create your own thumbnail with their sample all right that's what i mean by you research you research on the type of thumbnail you want to make by going to your competitors people that are in line with the kind of content you want to post or the kind of topic you want to make the kind of thumb thumbnail they created and the ones that are getting more clicks the one that people are resonating more with so that you know how your thumbnail is going to be like you check their sample and create yours please don't forget to like the video so that a logarithm will boost it to people that will need it that are likely to need it after making your research and you see the kind of thumbnails that are getting more clicks the next thing you're going to do is to take pictures take a picture that resonates with the kind of content you want to post right so like some people will post uh will snap pictures that like the ones that snap picture like some people snap pointing like this so that you, you know indicating that look up more in summary what they are talking about so you take pictures that resonate with the, the kind of content you want to post take an intentional pictures all right so people mostly jump these steps they just go ahead to create their thumbnail most people screenshot from their videos which of course i've done that i am guilty of that all right i have done that countless times but i get to realize that taking an intentional pictures go a long way than screenshotting from your videos the next step for you to follow is editing so there are lots and lots of apps that you can use in editing your thumbnail there are lots of app there but the only one i use for now because of the free features in it is canva 
uh there is adobe express there is a peach chart there is a lot of them but i i use only canva for now in all the editing no and there is another no there is another app do you know that you can use photo grid for for your thumbnail editing hmm. you don't know now you know <laughs> i have two of my videos this and this i used photo grid for this thumbnail editing so it's very good but i prefer using canva right because there are lots and lots of feature good features and free features there that's is very very free and good to work with so i make it so let's go to our editing so this is canva i went for an option to create so i have to go to style when i get to style i'm looking for a good background so i went to photos there are plenty options different beautiful backgrounds i selected one after checking out different backgrounds i went to my phone photos i long press on the picture that i'm going to use and it's copied out as you can see options for copy so i copied the picture and i went back to my canva i long press on the frame that i've selected and there is an option that says paste so i pasted the picture that i copied out on the frame that i've selected so i went ahead to adjust the picture to make sure it is fitted well so since i'm working with canva i decided to add the canva logo on my frame too so i had to go to my picture select canva frame and drag it to the picture just the way i just did it here so i went ahead to insert my words i went to test and put up my writings what i want to appear on my thumbnail the writing that i want to appear on my thumbnail so after putting up the writing i ha i had to bring up my youtube logo i went to my camera and i have to click on this particular youtube logo i went ahead to position it properly in a way that it will look good and beautiful so i went ahead to insert the second word which is thumbnail i went to my test and i selected add a heading so i added thumbnail so that the write-up will go how to make a youtube thumbnail so after i finish inserting the words I adjusted it properly in a way it fits and it looks attractive so I went straight to effect and I went to background to darken the right up a bit so that it will look popping so I, the top the the right up will pop because I use white at, for the words and black for the background so I decided to do something little different I went to my previous thumbnails and clicked on them and brought them to my frame to the thumbnail that i'm working on i adjusted them a little i made them to be in a very small size and i dragged them down towards the thumbnail i'm just trying to create something that will look catchy and attractive nothing much actually nothing much so i'm just trying to explore new things so you too, you can explore whenever you're working on your thumbnail, try different things that can work for you. So after adjusting the little thumbnails, after adjusting them, I went to, I went back to element. I click on elements and they took me to arrows. When you go there, you see different shapes of arrows. You see different colors and sizes. So I decided to, pick a particular arrow then i brought it to my thumbnail that i'm working on i brighten up the arrow i dragged it to the position that i wanted it to be it the arrow was black so i had to change the color from black to white just like i just did now i changed it to white so i dragged it to minimize it and set it so that it will fit in it's not much but i just feel like exploring all right so this is the outcome of my work welcome back after 
editing after all that after all that the next thing you do is i want to make sure that this is clickable i'll post it to my friends on my whatsapp i'll ask them do you like this this creation is it good is it some is it catchy can can it attract people to click on it if i get 10 to 15 people saying it's okay it's good uh, it's nice it's clickable then i know that this is beauty this is beauty all right i need to work with this mm. so guys thank you so much if you find my video of value don't forget to like subscribe share and do all those good good stuff that you know how to do see you in my next better video don't miss it don't miss it